uh, one thing that fascinates me with your acting is the way you can flip from the villain to a person of great integrity. And I'm watching, trying to see what this, how you've done it, and I can't find it. You know, I'm watching for the, for the mechanisms, the tricks, even seeing the scene several times, I don't find it. Right. And so here you are playing this motel manager. This is the scene where uh, we see his integrity and we see what I love is the sense that something is going to happen, but you're never, you're never signaling it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how you did that. Mm -hmm. And most of this is in one shot, <laughs> you know. One interesting thing about this scene was we were working with a very strong script. Mm. But in this case, it was kind of interesting that that walk, you know, we're working at a real motel. So it's a working motel. We're just filming around everything that's going on there. And where the kids park was in relationship to the soda machine was quite a ways. That script, this scene was written before we knew where we were going to shoot it. So there was just like the beginning and kind of the end. Oh. So all the space in the middle is vamping, really. That's improvised? Yeah. Wow. And of course, you have a very clear task because you've got to keep them on the hook, you know? And you've got to bring them there, got to bring them to a private place, to a shirt, you know? You had, I had a very clear task. There's this guy, I know I've got to check him out, be, confirm all my suspicions that he shouldn't be there. I'm trying to get him, trying to get a sense of him, getting him talking getting him away from the kids. I'm going to scare him because I think he shouldn't be around. So he wants to get a soda. This is my way to see him sweat. So I'm sweating him. And then once I'm, you know, sure because of various things that he does, then I lower the boom. So that's a very clear action. So that's what I'm thinking about, just accomplishing those things. I'm not thinking about mean to him. I'm not thinking about judging him. You know, I'm just trying to play, get a good result as a manager. And who was the other actor? He's a, he's a Vietnam vet, you know, had a whole life and uh, retired to that area. And when he's quite elderly, as you see. And uh, just for fun, he started doing little acting jobs and local things. And the, the, the movie is a mix of children, people that live there, um, some actors, uh, some new actors. Uh, one of the main parts was found on Instagram, mm. and she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. The woman that plays the mother, Bria Vinaitier. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, it's it's available on. It's just today or soon. It's available on other platforms. Mm. You don't have to see it. But see it in the movie theater. Yeah, you should become part of it. But the problem is that it's a small movie. Mm. And it should be a small movie because if you tried to make this movie at a bigger budget with a bunch of stars, you could never get the trust of the people. You could never get the authenticity. There would be performances in way. My job here was to not be an actor, to kind of m melt in. And some, uh, you know, somehow that's always my job. Mm. Um, but this world, it was important to really l let them lead and have me support. And that was, that was a fun place to so be. So when you do this scene, uh, do you tell that poor old guy that, look, I'm going to grab you and maybe hurt you? Or I, I do, uh, because I don't want to kill him. jerk. Yeah. Mm. You know, I mean, no, I don't want to be, a, I don't want to brutalize this mm. guy. I mean, that wasn't bad. But, did you, but did I did say, you know, also, he's old. I don't want to hurt mm. him. So, so when I was going to grab him, I, I, you know, did it like a dance. I mm. said, okay, I'm going to grab you here, grab mm. you here, I'm going to turn you around, I'm going to reach for this. So we did it slow motion a couple of times. And, w you know, we probably shot that twice. You didn't rehearse? Uh, just we da danced through that thing. I mean the whole scene. Uh, we rehearsed a couple of times because um, also uh, you probably noticed that was a steady cam shot yeah. because it's quite a walk. Mm -hmm. We didn't have track like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I love that he, that he held the shot and your emotion in it is... And then there are those couple of moments where you kind of laugh. Yeah. You know, I just really uh, loved it. No, no, loved I, it. I, I, uh, I haven't seen it in a while. It looked pretty good. Yeah, it is. And the girl... No, I, I, mean, it, I mean, really, it usually is. I see stuff and I... Well, I do. Whenever I watch a movie that I'm, I've been in, mm. I have an immediate association. I remember the day, I remember, you know, I really remember mm. everything. 
for some strange reason, I look at that and I half remember. And so I can kind of watch it like, Oh, hmm. yeah. Yeah. And when something's really tr the truth, it's very compelling, you know. That's the it's game, I think. There. Somewhere it all boils down to that. Mm. I mean, truth is a slippery thing, but I think that's what everybody's, you know. What is truth? Looking yeah. for.